Hi! Last year we got a 10 watt high CRI LED bulb by the Chinese manufacturer UG and really liked it. This year we got a 36 watt high CRI light bulb by the same company and we're going to test it and see how it performs. In late 2019, we tested a 10 watt E27 4000 Kelvin high CRI bulb from the Chinese manufacturer Yuji, and we were really impressed with the build and especially with the high quality light it produced. The output, on the other hand, was fairly low, as you would expect from a 10 watt bulb, even when using several units together, which somewhat limited its uses. Today we are going to test a much more powerful high CRI bulb from UG and see how it performs and what you can do with it. We got our original set of 5 36 watt bulbs from UG in late 2019 and they worked very well but the build quality was a little bit flimsy. Earlier this year they sent us a new batch of bulbs which are much better built and these are the ones that we have been using ever since and the ones that are currently sold on the website. This new generation are also smaller which is a big plus. Each of these new bulbs comes in 3200 Kelvin or 5600 Kelvin and measures just under 20 cm around 7.5 inches long and are a little bit over 7 cm or just under 3 inches wide. They are obviously larger than the 10 watt bulbs so they won't fit in any normal housing but for some larger ones they might work fine. Our intended use for them was actually quite different. Given the fantastic color quality of the 10 watt bulbs that we have tested, we were hoping to build our own high power low cost lights with several of these 36 watt bulbs. To do this, we needed a way to connect several of them together and diffuse them. There are all sorts of ways of doing that, but maybe the simplest, especially if you're not a certified electrician, is to buy some sort of a E27 multi-lamp head. One of the reasons that this review took so long was that we had to go through three different ones until we found a version that worked well and is made in a way that will not break after one or two uses. We finally found a Fovitec fluorescent lighting kit. It works really well with two diffusion layers and has five E27 connectors, although with our 36 watt bulbs, you can only fit four at a time due to how wide they are. It also has the option to power up either the left lights, the right lights, or the center bulb. In our case, we could use it to half power the light, but in practice, we always used full power with this setup. Please keep in mind that these bulbs do not support dimming in any way, even if you would be able to find a dimming kit for them. Using the Fovitec kit with 4 bulbs got us close to 150 watts and we tested it with and without 2 diffusion layers and got the following results using our Siconic C700 spectrometer. With 4 LED bulbs with no diffusion inside the softbox from 1 meter away, we got 5599 Kelvin, 3660 Lux and a CRI of 96 with a great R9 reds of 89 and 74 R12 for blues. With the same setup, but this time with two layers of diffusion, we got 5467 Kelvin and 2380 Lux and about the same CRI. These are certainly very good color results and the output is decent as well, even with two layers of diffusion. We already used it for several commercial projects when we needed an extra high quality fill light and it worked really well and was very useful on the set. As per pricing, four 36 watt bulbs like the ones that we have been using will cost you $170, $46 if you buy them individually, and with the Fovitec softbox kit, you're looking at an extra $70, so around $240 in total. This is not exactly cheap, especially given the fact that you have no dimming options and you are sort of stuck with this specific softbox. However, Giving the light quality and silent operation and compared to say a good quality but affordable 150 watt modern COB like the Godox VL150, we are almost at half the price. Yes, the Godox is obviously more powerful, is much more functional using the Bowens mount, it comes with a controller plus wireless control and a 
mode and of course the dimming option so it's not an easy pick between the two even with the UG's lower price. Regardless, the product itself is great and really our only criticism apart from the price is the lack of dimming support. If you want it as a high quality practical on set or as a high end work light for your editing room, if your lamp can support it, it comes highly recommended with a fantastic color reproduction and plenty of output. So that was our look at the 36 watt high CRI LED bulb by UG. You can check out the full review on lensby.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find a lot more videos just like this. See you next time.